Hello viewers, my name is Bimal Chandra Das, Professor of Accounting, Government Tulam College, Danan Gans, Bangladesh. Today's topic is Normal Loss of Raw Material in Standard Costing. Sometimes we get messed up with normal loss of material that we face in production process. Today I will show uh, how to deal in normal loss of material and the impact of normal loss of material in standard costing. To understand today's episode, you must watch my two previous uh, videos on standard costing. Now see the formulas of material variances in standard costing. We need some prior computation uh, to calculate material variances uh, such as material cost variance, material uh, price variance, material mix variance, material uh, yield variance. The computations are standard quantity allowed for actual output and uh, revised standard quantity uh, that means actual quantity using standard formula. So these are the formulas for calculating variances of raw material. Material cost variance is total variance. This is divided into two parts, material price variance and metal quantity variance. When two or three materials are put into a process, then material quantity variance is divided into two parts, material mix variance and metal yield variance. Here are the information needed for calculating variances of raw material. Actual price, standard price, actual quantity normally are given. Uh, we have to compute standard quantity allowed for actual output that is SQ and revised standard quantity for uh, that is RSQ. Uh, revised standard quantity is calculated when two or three materials are put into a process. Actually, uh, not a big deal of normal loss in variance analysis of material. For normal loss, there is an impact only on standard quantity allowed that is standard quantity allowed for actual output. There is an impact on this, only on this standard quantity for actual output. If standard output is given excluding normal loss, then no need for extra calculation. Here is a problem. Here input of X, Y, and Z are given. Input of X, 550 kg, Y, 250 kg, and Z, 300 kg. These are in total 1100 kg, but standard output was given 1000 kg for a mix. So here is a uh, normal loss of 100 kg. Here in total 1100 and here is 1000. So the normal loss is adjusted here. So no extra calculation for this. Only we have to calculate standard quantity allowed for actual output. The formula is standard input per base that is 450, 250, 300 and standard output of a mix that is 1000 and uh, multiplied by actual output. Actual output was 20,200 kg. So the calculation is in this way 550 divided by 1000, 550 input, 1000 standard output, 250 for uh, input for Y and 1000 output, and 300 input for Z, and, and total 20,200 kg were produced. So standard quantity allowed for actual output met, metal x uh, 11,110, 5,050, and 6,060. Here is the another problem here. Uh, normal loss in percentage is given 10%, but no uh, standard output is given. So here we calculate standard output. Uh, look at the problems. 40% uh, uh, material of A, 60% material of B, and standard loss is 10%. 90 kg of material actually used and 110 kg of material B was used. Total material used 200 kg, but no standard output is given, only actual 1 to 82 kg is, was given. So we have to calculate a standard uh, output of a mix excluding normal loss in this way. Here input 40 and 60, that is 100, normal loss 10%, that is 10, so standard output is 90. So standard quantity allowed for actual output will be calculated in this way, 40 divided by 90 into actual quantity produce 182, that is 80.89 kg. And here is 60 for B standard input and 90 standard output. Here is the standard output was 90. And actual output was 182 kg. So Standard quantity allowed for actual output for material A 80.89 kg and for material B 
1.333 kg. Here, look, standard uh, output of a mix was calculated by deducting uh, normal loss, that is 10. I want standard output was 90. So there is an impact of normal loss in this problem. If the standard output is not given, then we have to calculate standard quantity allowed for actual output, deducting normal loss. Here is another problem. Here, metal A 50 kg, metal B 30 kg, metal C 40 kg of inputs are used. Here 10% is normal loss. Here total is 120 kg. Normal loss 10 percent so actual output of a mix is 108 kg so when we calculate standard quantity allowed for actual output then we have to calculate standard output that is 108 kg the standard quantity allowed for actual output is calculated in this way here is the standard input that is given 50 kg 30 kg and 40 kg and standard output is calculated 108 kg. And actual uh, production was 7,500 kg. And multiplied by 7,500 kg. So standard quantity allowed for actual output was calculated uh, this amount 3,472.22, 2,083.33, and 2,777.78 kg. These are the standard quantity allowed for actual output. These information are needed to calculate material variances. So we see the impact of normal loss to calculate standard quantity of output and for standard quantity allowed for actual output. There is no impact of normal loss excluding this calculation. Now look at the complete solution of a problem. Here is a problem. Uh, material A, B, and C inputs standard inputs of metal a 50 kg metal b 30 kg and metal c 40 kg these are standard price 2.75 a 2.5 b and 4 uh, for c there is an external loss of 10 percent and actual output was 7500 kg actual input were used 4100 2000 and 2500 metal actual price Mm, 2.82 and 3.75. We know uh, there are some formulas uh, for material variances. These are material cost variance, material price variance, material quantity variance, material mix variance, and material yield variance. To calculate variances, we need some uh, computations. These are standard quantity allowed for actual output and revised standard quantity. That means actual quantity using standard formula. To calculate standard quantity for actual output, there is an impact of standard loss to calculate uh, standard quantity allowed for actual output. Here is the solution. Standard quantity allowed for actual output, that is SQ. Uh, the, the formula is standard input per batch or per mix divided by standard output of a mix excluding normal loss into actual output. So we see uh, normal loss is excluded from standard output of a mix. Here mix was 50, 30 and 40 kg of a mix, total 120 kg. Here uh, 120 kg and normal is 10 percent. So uh actual standard output is 108 kg so in the formula uh, we put the figures 50 that is standard input per batch for a for b 30 for c 40 and standard output of a mix that is 108 for a for b and for c and actual output uh, that is 7500 uh, multiplied by uh, 7500 uh, we get this figure uh, uh, standard uh, quantity allowed for actual output for a 
for B and for C. These figures are standard quantity allowed for actual output. Now we have to compute revised standard quantity. Remember, this is required to calculate metal mix variance and metal yield variance. And metal mix variance and metal yield variance is calculated when two or three materials are put into a process. So the formula is for revised standard quantity is standard input for every material, material every material that means A, B or C divided by total standard input. Total standard input wa was 50, 30 and 40 that is 120 kg and total input. Total, total input are 4,000, 2,000 and 2,500. Total 8,600. Here is revised standard quantity, metal A 50 kg, metal B 30 kg, metal C 40 kg and total standard input are 120, 120, 120. And actual input are used 8,600 for A 4,100, for B 2,000 and for C 2,500, total 8,600. These are the standard quantity revised standard quantity remember there is no impact of normal loss on the revised standard quantity and remember other thing as well the total of total of revised standard quantity of three materials will equal to total input used that is 8600 here total of this 8600 and total input uh, was also 8600 kg now computations are ready for uh, solve solving the problem we we'll go to the solution here is metal cost variance the formula is actual quantity into actual price minus standard quantity into standard price we have actual quantity, we have actual price, we calculated standard quantity, and we have standard price. Just put the figures into the uh, formula, we get these figures. If these figures, uh, uh, here, uh, actual quantity into actual price is 11,480, and the standard quantity into standard price is 9548.6 the actual figure is higher than the standard figure so there must be unfavorable variance remember when actual figure is greater than standard figure that, that, that is called unfavorable variance when standard figure is greater than actual figure that is that is called Favorable variance and in total there is a favorable variance that means actual quantity was lower than standard quantity in a total so it is favorable variance when actual quantity is greater than the standard quantity that will be unfavorable variance this is the total variance material cost variance is a combination of material price variance and material quantity variance. That means uh, material cost variance is divided into two parts. One is material price variance and the other is quantity variance. Price variance is for price, difference of price that is standard price and actual price, standard price and actual price. This variance, you know, for this variance, purchase department is liable and quantity variance is for uses of quantity in the production process. If the quantity is uh, used more than the standard, that will be unfavorable variance. And the standard quantity, uh, actual quantity is used less than the standard quantity, that will be favorable variance. Here, total uh, quantity 
uh, actual uh, total quantity was used more than the standard quantity that is that is unfavorable variance so uh, for quantity variance uh, production department is liable absolutely uh, that means they used more materials than the standard here is unfavorable variance if it was favorable variance then it it would be less uh, material used uh, than the standard look, uh, look at this the combination of material price variance and material quantity variance is equal to material cost variance material cost variance is 1013.04 yeah, that the total of this is also 1013.04 here is favorable favorable variance here is unfavorable variance uh, deducting from favorable variance uh, there is a need favorable variance of taka uh, 1000 13.04 uh, now material quantity variance is divided into two part one is metal mix variance and the other is metal yield variance material mix variance is for the uh, uses of mix of material uh, the formula is a actual quantity into extended price minus uh, re revised standard quantity into standard price we uh, saw earlier uh, we asked, we calculate earlier revised standard quantity. This revised standard quantity is used here for material mix variance and material yield variance. The yield variance, uh, the formula is uh, revised standard quantity and standard price minus standard quantity into standard price. We we have all the information uh, uh, either given or calculated. So just uh, put the figures here, then we get the uh, variances, uh, total variances here. 420.84 favorable variance and 827.8 unfavorable variance total there is a unfavorable variance since unfavorable variance is higher than the favorable variance that means here total 4400.96 unfavorable variance this is this is equal to material quantity variance here is material quantity variance so that means Material quantity variance is divided into two parts, metal mix variance and metal yield variance. That's why the total of metal mix variance and yield variance is, uh, does agree with the material quantity variance. So here we see that uh, uh, the, uh, the impact of normal loss is just on the standard quantity allowed for actual output. Here is another problem. The standard cost of a chemical mixture is 40% material, 60% material, uh, A and B, uh, standard price uh, 20 per kg, 30 per kg. Here, uh, standard loss 10% expected and actual input 90 kg and 110 kg. Uh, actual price 1824, total what produce 182 kg. Here, standard output is not given so we have to calculate standard output here the formula standard input per batch into uh, divided sorry uh, standard input per batch divided by standard output of a mix excluding normal loss into into actual output here um, standard output uh, input 40 plus 60 that means 100 uh, normal is, is 10 percent so uh, standard output is 90. Uh, if, since there is a normal loss, so st standard um, uh, input mix uh, from standard input mix, we have to deduct normal loss that is 10 and standard output was 90. Now, uh, standard quantity allowed for actual output, uh, uh, putting the value in the um, formula, we get uh, is input 40 for A, input 60 for B and standard output 90 for a for both the product standard output is 90 and uh, actual output was 182 that is actual output here actual output multi multiplied by standard output as uh, multiplied by uh, actual output we get standard quantity that is for a 80.89 kg and for b 121.33 kg so we get the standard quantity uh, for actual output. And here we 
calculate revised standard quantity that is uh, same as we done in the previous problem uh, standard input uh, here is standard input uh, here is total standard input here uh, normal is not detected uh, in the previous problem uh, uh, normal loss was detected remember it was it was output standard output but it is not a standard output it is uh, total input and and this is total input used here total input was 90 kg and 110 kg that is total input 200 kg uh, we now we get uh, putting the uh, values we get uh, 80 kg uh, material a uh, and uh, for material b 120 kg that is revised standard quantity now look at the solution here is material cost variance metal price variance metal quantity variance all are given or we calculated some uh, uh, calculation uh, just put the value we get uh, here here we get metal a metal b here is total variance 998 uh, here 840 and here 158 this is favorable variance that means uh, we spent uh, uh, less amount than the standard uh, here here is also several variance that 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 also means we spend uh, less price than standard price that is 840 favorable variance here is also favorable that means we used less amount than the standard and uh, the combination of price variance and quantity variance is equal to cost variance uh, it, it must agree with the cost variance because cost variance is divided into two parts material price variance and metal quantity variance. And now, metal quantity variance is also divided into two parts metal mix variance and metal yield variance. Uh, the combination of these uh, two variance, that is 158, A, uh, will also agree with the metal quantity variance, that is 150. So we see the the metal cost, cost cost variance is divided into two variance and metal quantity variance is divided into two variances so here we see that uh, the impact of normal loss here on standard quantity allowed for actual output and nowhere and that's all for today see you next time goodbye stay safe